guys, this is Jen from From Head to Toe and I wanted to do my April favorites video. I have a couple of things that are like medium and then the other things that I want to talk about I actually really really like this month so just forewarning I don't have a lot of like hatred products. Okay so to recap on the powder that I reviewed last time, this is the Cargo Press powder. I couldn't really give it a proper review last time just because I switched the colors around. So this is the actual 20 and I did try it and it matches my skin quite well and um, I was really happy with the color match and also with the finish. Unfortunately my skin is a little bit on the oily side especially since the weather is warming up and I find that it'll last a good hmm, maybe like three hours and then after that I feel like I have to go back and blot if I use it on top of a BB cream. If I use BB cream by itself obviously I'm gonna get shiny quicker anyway um, so this will help a little bit but not a whole lot. I find it works better if I just do concealer and powder. It lasts better on my plain skin than it works over BB cream. So that's the first thing. So the next thing I tried, I was actually sent these Revlon customized palettes. Like I got four of them from the company and it looks like this. And actually, I've tried a few Revlon Colorstay eyeshadows that I really liked in the past. Um, if you look at some of my older videos, I talk about the Copper Spice palette quite often because I really love that. I love all the colors in it, so I thought I would try these out. And unfortunately, I found them to be really powdery. It's just not quite as pigmented as I would like it to be. So it doesn't really last very well throughout the day, which is sad because they came, some of the colors in, in the different palettes were pretty nice, but if you even look at the cap, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a whole lot of powder fallout. And that unfortunately does also happen on your face. So I can't say I recommend the Revlon Customized Palette. And this is in the color number 10, Sweet Innocence. Moving on to some products that I do like a little bit more. This is something that I have been using and I really love it because as some of you know if you've seen any of my skincare videos you'll know that I used to have really really horrible acne and I was on prescription medications for quite a long time and I'm sort of trying to wean myself off of I was using a product called Duac which is a clindamycin and benzoyl peroxide it's a topical product since it has antibiotics in it I just kind of wanted to see if I could go without using it. I'm still going to use the Differin because that's a retinoid and that can pretty much be used for the rest of my life. But the product with antibiotics, I just didn't want to have that change anything about my skin for, you know, like permanently I don't want to have a resistance or something. So I've been using this. This is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. I heard Christine of Temptalia talking about this so I decided to try it out. I actually got this from Hot Look when they had a sale on there, which I think that's like quite a lot cheaper than it is on the retail price. And what you do is, well, it looks kind of muddy because I've been tossing it around, but it's usually like a yellowish clear liquid up here. And then down here in the pink part is a calamine. Calamine? I said that one. Calamine? Oh, it's calamine at the bottom. I don't know if any of you had... A bottle of calamine lotion when you were little. My mom would take it, take a q-tip in there, and then put it on bug bites to make it stop itching. It's the same kind of stuff. It basically helps to reduce sort of like redness and inflammation. So this top part has um, salicylic acid in it and alcohol and stuff. So up here is like the acne fighting stuff and then down here is the irritation reducing stuff. So what you do is you take a q-tip and you dip it in here through the yellow medicine part down to the calamine lotion part and then the q-tip will be wet and it has pink at the tip and you just put that on your acne spots before you go to sleep at night and in the morning they're greatly reduced and less red than they were the, the day before and I'm gonna say I, I swear by this it actually works for me. A lot of products in the past that were salicylic acid didn't used to work very well on my skin, so I don't know if it's just because my skin changed and I got older, but, you know, so I don't know if it'll work for everybody, but I would say, especially if I catch the acne early on, it usually tends to help reduce it before it becomes a big problem. 
I don't think it works quite as well on like cystic acne but like the little ones where you you know it's going to like get bigger I usually like just plan on doing the bigger ones and then I see all these tiny little ones all over my face and then so by the end of the night I kind of look like I have a bunch of pink spots all over my face like I have chicken pox and uh, one day I forgot I put that on my face and maintenance came in and they didn't say a word to me I didn't realize until they left that I had um, calamine freckles all over my face they probably thought I was like diseased or something oh well regardless I, I do recommend this another product that I bought at the same time as that lotion is this it's called vitamin C serum it's also by Mari Badescu this one you open it up and it just has a dropper and it has some yellowish clear liquid in it so what I do is I take about three or four drops of this at night I don't use it every night I use it maybe every other night if I remember I'll just like drop it into my hand and then you know dab it and cover this part of my face and that part of my face and then my forehead and what this does is it is supposed to be filled with antioxidants and vitamin C which is supposed to really I guess improve the condition of your skin and I find that when I wake up in the morning after using this my skin is very soft and it feels nice and supple and I do feel like it makes a difference it's just like seems a little bit brighter <laughs> which I was also shocked about but again I, I bought this because I saw other people recommending it and the one thing I would say about this is it kind of has a funny smell kind of smells like yucky apples a little bit you know vitamin C I don't know is that the right way to describe it maybe like a little bit orangey but a little bit strange like oranges that are starting to go bad but as soon as you put it on your face you don't smell anything so I guess that just comes with the territory <laughs> I guess I'm doing a lot of skincare stuff this month um, I also tried Josie Marin Argan Oil this was sent to me at the same time that I was sent those makeup palettes that I talked about last time I tried this first by itself and it was not moisturizing enough for my skin I still felt like a little bit tight and dry after I used it but I started using it in, in place of like a serum so I would like apply this and then apply a moisturizer on top of it and I noticed that during the transitional weather when it became springtime from winter it really helped my skin to go through that and not have any dryness going on so layered I think this stuff is really really great the only downfall of this is that it is really expensive for a tiny little bottle I mean it lasted pretty good I'm only about halfway through it but what I would maybe recommend is since it's just a hundred percent argan oil I've heard from people that you can just find argan oil at Whole Foods in a larger container for a lot cheaper so I might keep this bottle and get a bigger container and just put it inside here and keep using it and see if that works just as well but um, in general I really really do like this um, I, I do notice that my skin just feels a lot more balanced with the moisture not like over moisturized just a lot more even overall when I do use this for my last makeup related thing I wanted to talk about this lip gloss that I've been using a lot of it's the Meliesh lip gloss it's a Japanese makeup brand let me swatch it for you as you can see it's very very opaque okay so I just put it on my lips and as you can see it's nice and opaque like you don't need to wear a lipstick underneath this for it to give you a really cute wearable baby pink lip I love it because you know if I'm just doing neutral eye makeup it looks good if I do smoky eye makeup it looks good um, this color just really matches with a lot of stuff that I wear this one is actually in shade number one so it's sort of like a light pink but it's a little more of a mm, like a mauve undertone maybe if you're a lot lighter than me it might look more like a regular pink and less like a nudie pink but I love this I really appreciate that it's so thick because a lot of American lip glosses they don't give your lips a uh, a full cover unless it is a darker color like if you have a red lip gloss it'll show up but lighter lip glosses tend to be translucent and this is definitely not 
So it's a little bit pricey, but I feel like I grab for this quite a lot, so I think it's really worth it. You know, Japanese cosmetics tend to always be really nice quality as well. So I've been loving that. And then I also wanted to sort of incorporate a couple of fashion things that I've really been loving this month. Um, the first one is this belt. This is a citrine colored belt from Ann Taylor, and I love the texture on it. I mean, I don't think it would really match this outfit. But in general, it will bring a nice yellowish pop of color to a lot of outfits I've been wearing. I've already, I've only had this for maybe a week, and I think I've already worn it like four times. So, it matches like so much, especially if you wear a lot of neutral colors or black and white. It looks so cute, and it's just perfect for the springtime. I feel like it's just really on trend right now. So I've been just wearing it all the time, even though I don't actually need a belt to hold up my pants or anything. I'll wear it around my waist or I'll wear it on my jeans for an extra pop of color. But love this. And then another accessory thing that I've been loving is this pin. It's a sequin pin that I got at Ann Taylor Loft. And trust me, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just like to shop there. <laughs> so this, I thought it was so amazing because it looks gray but then it has these flashes of pink and green. I just love that, and like peach. So it kind of matches with everything that I wear, because I wear a lot of mint green, I wear a lot of cream, and white, and mint, and peach, and orange, and it just seems to sort of melt into whatever color that I'm wearing that day. I got it during when they were having a 40% off of their entire store sale. So I think after the discount it was like 6 or $7, which I thought was kind of a lot for a pin, but I don't know. I love sequin pins, and the colors of this just really drew me in. So yeah, belts and accessories. I always love. <laughs> so I guess that is about it. If you would like to see more tutorials and information, please visit my blog from headtotoe.com. Follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash from head to toe. If you like this video and would like to see more, then please subscribe up there. This is Jen, and I will talk to you later. Bye.